Hi friends. I thought we'd do a project because usually every morning when you come in we do a project. So the other day I showed you the marble painting in the bucket and today I thought we could use some of those paintings in a different project. Now if you made a marble painting that you love you do not have to do this but if you made a lot of marble paintings or maybe this is a marble painting that I made. I kind of like it, but I'm going to do something different. Or maybe you drew a picture. Who knows? But you can use any picture you want. I kind of like to use the marble paintings because there's so much color and so much going on. But these are fun too, or any picture that you have lying around. Maybe you have a picture that you don't especially like. And so this is a good use of that picture. You could use a lot of different pictures if you wanted. So the first thing you're going to need is to have a picture. You're also going to need maybe a black piece of paper and then a smaller piece of paper of any color. It could be any color you want. I like the purple. But you can ask mom or dad to cut it down a little bit smaller than the black piece of paper. You could really use any other color too, but you need two pieces of different colors. You're going to need some glue. Some of you like the squishy, squeezy glue. I don't quite need my glasses, do I? We need the squeezy glue, or you like the glue sticks. If you use the squeezy glue, you might want a paintbrush. And you're going to need scissors. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your picture. And this might seem a little kooky because you might have made some effort with this picture. So make sure that you're okay with cutting up your picture. I'm okay with cutting up this picture because I made a lot of marble paintings and so I'm okay to use one to cut up. So what you're first going to do is you're going to take your scissors, your thumb in the little hole, fingers in the big hole, right? Like that. And you are going to cut your picture up into little pieces. Okay. And you're going to cut, cut, cut in all different ways, however you want. If you want to practice ripping your paper too, you can try to rip your paper. You remember you pinch the top and you go out with one finger set and then in with the other finger set. So you got to pull in different directions. Let's try that again. Pinch at the top and one hand's going to go forward and one hand's going to come back, right? We'll try that again. We're going to see how little we can get them. So, once you've got your picture all ripped or cut up, you could also try to snip, snip, snip one way, turn the paper, and then snip, 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 snip the other way, and then pieces will fall off. So once you've cut your picture up, you could even do this with a magazine picture if you didn't want to cut up your own creation. I kind of like cutting up my own creation because it's something special that I made from the beginning. So once you've ripped and cut your picture up, then you're going to find your small piece of paper, right? You have two pieces of paper, a big piece of paper and a small piece of paper. And then you are going to glue your cut up picture and try to cover all, I'm going to try to cover all the purple. So if your paper is blue, see if you can cover all the blue or maybe your paper's pink, cover all the pink. And I'm going to start with my glue stick and I'm just going to put a lot, a lot of glue. I know some of you like to use a lot, a lot of glue and this is a good activity to be able to use lots of glue. So you are going to glue, 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 and then you're going to try to cover up all the purple, right? And then you might need some more glue. Make sure when you're putting your picture down on the glue that the picture side is up, not the white side. The picture side is up, right? And so you are going to try to cover all that color and you can overlap the pieces. One can go sort of over top 
on top of the other. They don't have to be separate because then you'll have purple in between and I want to cover up the purple. So I'm going to put some more glue down and I'm going to keep doing that until all my purple is covered up, right? I'm going to just keep going and keep going. And I know that you guys can do this. When you finished it, it might um, look, then you're going to, when you finish it, then you're going to glue it onto your black piece of paper, like so. But you don't want to do this until the very end because you want to leave some of your border. It's like a picture frame. So in the end, what it might look like is something like that. Okay. 